Let us open our Bible to the book of Acts chapter 24. Acts 24. Paul's trial before Felix. Paul's trial before Governor Felix. Acts 24 verses 1 to 9. The speech of Tertullius against Paul. Tertullius opens with what is known as a captatio benevolente, a flowering and flattering statement meant to capture the goodwill of the judge. He notes Felix penchant for peace and his reforms and promises to be brief so as not to worry the busy governor. Paul also begins with a captatio benevolente, but he is considerably more modest and moderate than Tertullius in verse 24. Then he jumps into his defense, refusing the accusation one by one. See here the, hap the unhappiness, the unhappiness of great men and a great unhappiness it is to have their services praised beyond measure and never to be faithfully told of their faults. Hereby, hereby they are hardened and encouraged in evil. Like Felix, Yahweh Yahweh's prophets were charged with, with being troublers of the land. And our Lord Yahshua the Messiah, that he perverted the nation. The very same charges were brought against Paul. The selfish and evil passions of people urged them forward. And the graces and power of speech too often have been used to mislead and prejudice people against the truth. How different will the characters of Paul and Felix appear at the day of judgment from what they are represented in the speech of Tertullius? Let not Christ's followers value the applause or be troubled at the reviling of ungodly people who represent the vilest of the human wits almost as gods and the excellent of the earth as pestilence as pestilences and, and mothers of sedition. Acts 24 verses 10 to 21. Paul's defense before Felix verses 11 to 12. Paul emphasizes that he is not a troublemaker and has at no time tried to instigate an insurrection. He had gone to Jerusalem as a pilgrim, not an, an agitator. He had cut his visits with the other churches short in order to be in Jerusalem for the feast of the Pentecost verses 14 to 16. Paul stresses the similarities be between what his persecutors believe and his own beliefs. He points out that they worship the same God, have the same forefathers, believe the same scriptures, and maintain the same hope that God will resurrect the righteous and the wicked. The sect that his opponent, his opponents accuse him of leading, then called the way, is actually a faith quite similar to their own. Verses 17 to 18. Paul insists that he has done nothing to defile the temple. Not only was he unconnected to any kind of crowd or, or disturbance, but he was also ceremonially clean. It wasn't until the Jewish troublemakers from Asia showed up that a riot, a riot erupted. 
verses 19 to 20. Paul adds that the, the instigators from Asia should have been present to make the accusations against him. Paul is careful not to say that he is persecuted by these Jews because he does not deny the Gentiles, including government, Governor Felix himself, the benefits of God. While these Jews want to maintain discrimination and separation from the Gentiles, Paul gives a just account of himself, which clears him from crime and likewise shows the true reason of the violence against him. Let us never be driven from any good way by its having an ill name. It is very comfortable in worshipping Yahweh to look to him as the God of our fathers and to set up no other rule of faith or practice but the scriptures. This shows that there will be a resurrection to a final judgment. Prophets and their doctrines were to be tried by their fruits. Paul's aim was to have a conscience void of offense. His care and endeavor was to obtain from many things and to abound in the exercises of religion in all times, both toward Yahweh and towards men. If blamed for being more earnest in the things of God than then our neighbors, what is our reply? Do we shrink from the accusations? How many in the world would rather be accused of any weakness, nay, even wickedness, than of an earnest, fervent feeling of love to the Lord Yahshua, the Messiah, and, uh, de and of devotedness of his service? Can such people think that he will confess them when he comes in his glory and before the angels of Yahweh? If there is any side pleasing to, to Yahweh, uh, the, 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 the God of our salvation, and a side at which the angels rejoice, it is to behold a devoted follower of the Lord here upon earth acknowledging that he is guilty if it be a crime of loving the Lord who died for him with all his heart and soul and mind and strength and that he will not in silence see Yahweh's word despised or hear his name profaned he will rather risk the ridicule of the uh, the ridicule and the hatred of the world than one frown from that gracious being Yahweh who love whose love is better than life. Acts twenty four verses twenty two to twenty seven. Felix trembles at the reasoning of Paul. Felix, verse 24, verse 23. Felix doesn't seem to consider Paul any kind of threat and allows him a, a minimum security environment. Paul is still supervised by a centurion, yet he has a degree of freedom and opportunities for friends to visit. Verse 26. Despite a lack of evidence against Paul, Felix isn't yet willing to release him, probably because there is not anything in it for him. If Paul had been the average prisoner, he would have offered a bribe and been out in no time. But Paul is not about to pay his own release. Verse 27, Felix was, was forced to step down because of his mistreatment of his Jewish subjects. 
the apostle reason he reason concerning the nature and obligations of righteousness temperance and of the judgment to come thus showing the oppressive judge and his profligate mistress the need of repentance forgiveness and of the grace of the gospel justice respects our conduct in life particularly in reference to others temperance the state and government of our souls in reference to Yahweh he who does not exercise himself in these has neither the form nor the power of godliness and must be overwhelmed with the divine wrath in the day of God's appearing. A prospect of the judgment to come is enough to make the stoutest heart to tremble. Felix trembled, but that was all. Many are startled by the word of God who are not changed by it. Many fear the consequences of sin yet continue in the love and practice of sin. In the affairs of our souls, delays are dangerous. Felix put off this matter to a more convenient season, but we do not find that the more convenient season ever came. Behold, now is the accepted time. Hear the voice of the Lord today. He was in haste to turn from hearing the truth. Was any business more urgent than for him to reform his conduct? Or more important than the salvation of his soul? Sinners often start up like a man roused from his sleep by a loud noise, but soon sink again into their usual drowsiness. Be not deceived by occasional appearances of religion in ourselves or in others. Above all, let us not triple with the word of Yahweh. Do we expect that as we advance in life, our hearts will grow softer or that the influence of the world will, will decline? Are we not at this moment in danger of being lost forever? Now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. Know this and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Let us pray. Let us take this prayer point. Let us pray. Acts 24. I admit that I worship the God of our ancestors as a follower of the way which my adversaries call a sect in the name of Yeshua. I believe everything that is in accordance with the law and that is written in uh, uh, the prophets and the gospels. In the name of Yeshua, I believe everything that is in accordance with the law and that is written in the prophets and the gospels. In the name of Yeshua, I believe everything that is in accordance with the law and that is written in the prophets and the gospels. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I have the same hope in Yahweh as my adversaries themselves have that uh, there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. In the name of Yeshua, I have the same hope in Yahweh eh, as my adversaries themselves have, that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. In the name of Yeshua, I have the same hope in Yahweh as my adversaries themselves uh, have, eh, that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the, the wicked. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I strive always to keep my conscience clear before Yahweh and man. In the name of Yeshua, I strive to keep my conscience clear before Yahweh and man. In the name of Yeshua, I strive always 
to keep my conscience clear before Yahweh and man. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. After an absence of years, I will always come to the way, to the church, to bring my people gifts for the poor and to present offerings. In the name of Yeshua, after an absence of year, I will always come to the way to bring my people gifts for the poor and to present offerings in the name of Yeshua, after an absence of years. I will always come to the way, to the Christian church, to bring my people gifts for the poor and to present offerings. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Whosoever keeps me in prison, hoping that I will offer him a bribe, be frustrated, for I will give you nothing but the word of God. In the name of Yeshua, whosoever keeps me in prison, hoping that I will offer him a bribe, be frustrated, for I will give you nothing but the word of God. In the name of Yeshua, whosoever keeps me in prison, hoping that I will offer him a bribe. Be frustrated, be frustrated, for I will give you nothing but the will of God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. You that jailer, sending me uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, sending for me frequently and talking with me, uh, and, and hoping that I will, I will offer you a bribe. Be frustrated, for I will give you nothing but the will of God. In the name of Yeshua, you that jailer, sending for me frequently and talking with me and hoping that I will offer you a bribe. Be frustrated, for I will give you nothing but the word of God. In the name of Yeshua, you that jailer, sending for me frequently and talking with me and hoping that I will offer you a bribe. Be frustrated, for I will give you nothing but the word of God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. As I talk about righteousness, self-control, and judgment to come, may you be afraid and turn your heart to Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, as I talk about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, may you be afraid and turn your heart to Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, as I talk about righteousness, self-control, and judgment to come, may you be afraid and turn your heart to Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. You that corrupt personality, leaving me in prison to grant a favor to my opponents. I will be patient until Yahweh set judgment upon you. In the name of Yeshua, you that corrupt personality, leaving me in prison to grant a favor to my opponents. I will be patient until Yahweh set judgment upon you. In the name of Yeshua, you that corrupt personality, leaving me in prison to grant a favor to my opponents. I will be patient until Yahweh set the judgment upon you. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our confession, you heard our prayers of repentance, and after you heard, you took away our dirty garment of sin and iniquity, and you dressed it with a brand new garment, a garment cleaner than anything else, even the garment of your own spirit. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our cries, our supplication, our requests, our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let us praise these, uh, these closing prayers. Let us pray the prayer our good Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, left us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us of evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. 
We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Now with the waving of our hands to our loving Father Yahweh, let us shout servant joyful, hallelujah, servant victorious, hallelujah, servant thanksgiving, hallelujah, to our good Father, ah, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. May Father Yahweh bless each and every one of his worship. Please may Father Yahweh bless you as you go out. May he bless you as you come in. May Father Yahweh make it permanent his answers to your prayers. May Father Yahweh um, lay his right hand upon you. May Father Yahweh uh, fill you with his fire of deliverance, his fire of healing, his fire of restoration, his fire of transformation. May Father Yahweh uh, fill you with his word of life. May Father Yahweh make it permanent his answers to your prayers. May he lay his right hand upon you. May he dress you in his cloud of glory. May he surround you with his edge of fire. May Father Yahweh settle you on your promised land, the land that flows with milk and honey, the most beautiful of lands. May he settle you with good health, happiness, prosperity, success, and eternal life. Go in peace. May the peace of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah.